Well, it is May and we are turkey hunting. This year, the season come in late. You can tell by how green everything is. That this is a very late turkey hunt. Probably not gonna hear much gobbling and be lucky if we see a strutting tom. But that doesn't mean you still can't hunt these turkeys. I'd love to get another bird. I've got one this year, so I got a tag left. I'm gonna set up in an area where I've been seeing a bunch of turkeys. We're gonna do some light calling, but you gotta be ready to go at any point in time. When you got a tag in your pocket and one to burn, I can't let the season go out. I gotta give it one more shot, so hopefully we can get a bird today. weather turned out to be perfect for a field hunt. We got a lot of sun, we've got some wind. So we thought we'd come set up on a place that I'm pretty familiar with. We hunted last year. <laughs> and we've hunted at numerous hunts this season. Never got a chance to take one, but this is a great location where these turkeys walk these field edges or right in the woods, right to this point. So we're set up, we've got two decoys out, and hopefully Big Tom comes slipping by. not 60, 70 yards away. Okay, there he is, there he is. It's definitely a gobbler. I was not expecting to hear a gobble this afternoon. more interested in filling his belly than he is our decoys right now. He's in range. I just got to get the perfect shot opportunity. All right, when this bird goes behind this tree, I got to move. I got him now. No, hold on. Now he's behind the tree. My God, what? It's middle of the day. We just set our decoys up. Thinking, oh, it's gonna be a beautiful afternoon hunt. I'm checking my phone. Haven't made a call and a gobble right there. We haven't heard a gobble in two weeks. This is like a good long beard. I mean, it was dragging a beard coming through there. I'm excited to go take a look. Wow, look at this beard. I'll tell you what, it is a full grown, mature bird. We hadn't heard any gobbles in a long time. We thought if we'll set up in their travel corridor and we know where they've been roosting, hopefully we can intersect them. Didn't think they were gonna come through at two o'clock in the afternoon. And thank goodness this joker gobbled and let us know he was coming. Finally came in and gave us the shot. We're able to put this bird down. I'll tell you what, later on in the year, it's all about persistence and knowing those travel zones. I want to give special thanks to the Hearst Farm for allowing us to come out here and chase these turkeys. We have had a blast. And I'm looking forward to getting this bird home, getting it cleaned up, getting it on the table.